Grand City. Hardest place on Earth. People aren't born here. They're forged out of broken bones and blood money. Fortunes are lost and found on a daily basis. And if you're not one of the lucky finders, you're probably dead. That's not to say there's no justice here. It's just hard to reach sometimes, under the layers of crime and corruption that stretch between the gutter and the glamour. It was another gray autumn, the leaves were changing from go green to caution yellow. Pretty soon they'd be danger red, then dead brown. All cars, gunshots reported in the vicinity of Chinatown subway construction site. This is Slate. I'm on it. Shadow! Slate, I have a gunshot victim. No pulse. I need an ambulance immediately. Roger that. We'll notify Hope General. Any ID? Victim's name is Slate. Frank Slate. My... He's my dad. Sorry, Jack. I'd seen a hundred bodies sprawled ugly in dark alleys and bright living rooms. But this one was different. This was my dad. The guy who looked me in the eye one day and told me he was innocent of the bad things he'd been accused of. And I believed him, because he'd never lie to me. And now he was dead. Somebody had to pay. What are you still doing here, Slate? We got this scene covered. I want this case. The hell you do. Go home and get some sleep. We'll keep you posted. It looks like he was trying to write something in the cement. I'm serious, Slate. Go home. Forget it. Somebody shot my dad tonight, and I'm gonna find out who. You know your old man only had one enemy. Augie Blatz. But you might want to be careful with those kind of accusations. Blatz owns a whole team of lawyers. Yeah, and thugs. Don't do anything stupid, Slate. Justice may not be smart, but it should be honest. I was about to do something real stupid. Augie Blatt's had a regular room at the Den of Iniquity, a prime hotspot for criminals ever since the Flaming Mambo Lounge got struck by Italian lightning. It wasn't the sort of place you'd expect to find a beloved philanthropist like Augie Blatt's, but then most people didn't know him like I did. He may have the city fooled with his goodwill money thrown at public parks and playgrounds, but apparently my dad was the only one interested in where that money came from. Drugs, mostly. Drugs and racketeering. Jack, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Hey, working for your dad is fine and all, but he hasn't been able to cover payroll lately, so I had to pick up a little scratch on the side. You won't tell him, will you? It'd probably kill him. Yeah, don't worry about it. He's already dead. What? Where's Augie? In, in, in the parlor. You think Augie had him killed? I don't know, but I plan on finding out. Uh, wait, you know they won't let you back I'll there. manage. Hold on, J let me... Look, I'll distract the bouncers for you, just be careful. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> Come on, Augie.
fire alarm. This ought to clear that dance floor pretty quick. Where is he? Where is who? The cop you let in here! Step on down here, wise guy! I know you're up there and I got your girlfriend! Damn it! Don't worry, Hildy. I'll get you out of this mess. Hildy! Gonna bleed, sucker! Hildy, get out of here. This place is about to get deadly. Uh, but... And for God's sake, put some clothes on. Boris Volkov? What's an importer of bad knockoff clothing doing with blats? You're mine, cop! Ugh. I'll take that. Company's coming. Here we go. Stop him! Take him down! I gotta take these goons down. You ain't so tough! Dimitri! Too bad. He just missed your brother. I'll take that. Thanks. Whoa. Officer Slade. What brings you out on a night like tonight? You wanna join us? Hundred dollar ante? Or is that too rich for your cop salary? <laughs> it's real simple, Blatz. You lie, you die. I wanna know why your boys knocked off my father tonight. Whoa, hey, your old man's dead. Gee. I'm all torn up by the news. Yeah, you will be. Take him down! You can run, but you can't hide, Augie. Get that freak! Take him down! Someone get this nut job cop off my tail! Get him! Get that freak! There he is! Boys! He's over here! You can run, but you can't hide, Augie. Help! Someone get this nut job cop off my tail! Nothing ever changes with you boys except the bad outfits. Here I come, Augie. End of the line, Augie. Why don't you do us both a favor? Go for your gun. What the? Don't do anything stupid, Slater. Get up, sir. Jack. You're gonna be okay. Come on, get up, Jack. Come on, just walk it off, kid. Jack. Come on, get up. You're welcome to fall at any time. Why, thank you. You make the creative process so much easier for me. Good shot, officer. Why, I'm amazed Mr. Blatz was able to squeeze off around in self-defense. Your sketch is complete. You're certain the second subject is to be a still life? Whatever you like, it's your gallery. I'm just the artist. 
Just relax, officer. Hopefully, the ambulance will arrive in time. Unfortunately, they'll be bringing in many, many more cops, but what can I say? You probably don't realize how much skill it took not to paint the floor with your brain meat. But my client wants you alive. It wouldn't have been my choice. But he says killing cops is bad business. Oh, and because you might find it of interest, Augie Blatz did not kill your father. Countdown to execution. Former Grant City Police Officer Jack Slate, arrested and convicted for the shooting spree that led to the death of known philanthropist Augie Blatz, is currently living out his last day in the death row cell block of Iron Point Penitentiary, as Mayor Pinnacle has approved what could set a precedent as the city's first fast-track execution. Opposing mayoral candidate Gloria Exner has stepped forward to publicly denounce such accelerated capital punishment, an issue she has fought to address since announcing her candidacy in early May. The mayor has yet to respond, but is expected to appear in a public debate to be scheduled soon. Slate's execution, however, is not expected to be postponed. In other news... Thinking about your old man? Yeah, a little. Frank was one of the good ones. Always did right by me on the outside. Whoever done him is gonna burn in hell, that's for sure. I'd like to see him burn here on Earth if I could. Well, maybe you can. Talk to me. Word is, Tattoo's planning to break the minute old spark and makes the lights dim, if you know what I'm saying. Got some kind of map out here. Now I don't know much, but this kid Wireboy down in the workshop, he says he knows how to put old spark out of business. Wireboy? You trust him? As far as I could throw him. Thanks, Preach. Dad knew a good guy when he met one. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad the judge didn't. Hey! Going somewhere? Not yet. Oh, I'm gonna love hitting a switch on you, Slate. Watching you jump, squirm, foul yourself. You don't even have to ask the question, officer. I know the answer. Mind reading your specialty? Battery acid on the conduits. In theory, it'll bring the whole grid down for hours. You're kidding me. Psst. This place is older than the pyramids, man. And again, that's only theory. I guess I can live with that. Yeah, you hope. One thing, though, you're gonna have to deal with the straps yourself. I've got that covered. You got the acid? Sure. For 25 packs. And where am I supposed to get 25 packs? Psst. I thought you were a hotshot cop. Try the gym, genius. Find Johnson's photo for him. Earn some smokes. How hard could it be? Looks like you need an ass kicking. Woo! Okay. Hey, what are you doing to my stuff? I'd have break your head in half, you lousy thief! Here you go. She's a, she's a real beauty if you're into pachyderms. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, I gotta find a better hiding place for this. Oh, oh, here's that package of smokes I promised. I hope she's worth it, Johnson. Twenty-five packs. Time to visit Wireboy over in the workshop. Twenty-five packs. Don't smoke them all in one sitting. Nice. Here's your battery acid. Let it sit on the contacts for a bit and then bathe in the sudden darkness. But all that's useless without an escape route. Don't worry about it. You seen Tattoo around? Ah, after his escape map. Man don't know how to keep his trap shut, does he? Not the brightest star in the planetarium. He's probably back from work detail by now, though. Check the showers. I gotta see Tattoo in the showers. Is that... That's Shadow barking. Dumb mutt! Should put you down like your ex-partner! Leave him alone, sickle! 
Look at here. Dead man walking. What are you gonna do about it? Dead man. I don't know. Why don't you try me? You beat that dog again, I will neuter you on the spot. You got that, Sickle? You bastard. Hang tight, boy. Things aren't over yet. <laughs> Tattoos made the showers his office. I hope there's no strict dress code. About the time they flick the switch, we're gonna be halfway back to a hot babe and a cool drink. You sure you can trust our ride to be there? The Gopher's my sister's old man's deadbeat brother. No ride, no money. He'll be there. Why don't you boys just shout it over the loudspeaker so everybody knows about the break? What break? What's it to you, cop? You're gonna be smoking out the ears while we drink fruity blender drinks on the beach. <laughs> Maybe I'll tag along. Run behind you guys. Kicking your ass the whole way. Oh, how do you plan on that? Tell the warden you want to walk off that last meal of donuts and whatever else you cops eat. That's my business. I'm just here to see your map. Blow off, cop. For the map, buddy. I appreciate it. Ugh, screw you! What the hell's going on in here? Tupperware party. What's it look like? Hey, you fellas seen Slate? Sickle's looking for him, and he's pretty steamed. Watching him's your job, Keystone. I had what I came for. Now it was time to drop below radar and square up someplace safe to review the map. Like myself, for instance. Jack! Jack! Kip Waterman, KLAY Action News. Yeah, I've seen your stuff. Listen, uh, I know you've been reluctant to do interviews, but, uh, you know, seeing this is gonna be your last chance, maybe you'd like to, you know... Yeah, sure. Why not? Son of a... <sighs> Tattoo's map wasn't half bad. It traced a route through the shower drain and a bunch of underground tunnels and ancient drainage pipes. This place was solid, but old, and it hadn't seen a whole lot of maintenance since Eisenhower was in the White House. I just had to hope the same could be said about old Sparky. In just a few moments, the raging controversy surrounding the murder of Augie Blatz will be put to rest with the execution of fallen police officer Jack Slate. Bearing witness today are Mayor William Pinnacle, Captain Dick Hennessy of the Grant City Anti-Crime Unit, who made the arrest, and a number of friends of the victim, including ex-heavyweight champ, Rafshoon Diggs. Cost me a hundred bucks to get the pleasure of frying you, Slate. But I would've paid two. Oh, Heavenly Father, look into this man's heart and find the goodness. Look upon his soul with Mercy and welcome him into your kingdom with open arms. Oh dear God, give us a miracle. If this works, I'll be back to get you out of here, preacher man. Lord don't like it, they promise us, son. Faith, Padre, faith. <clears throat> okay, okay, it's time. Hey, Slate, when you get to hell, mention my name and they'll give you a discount. Jack Slate, on behalf of the people of Grant City, I sentence you to death by means of electrocution for the heinous crime of intentional murder. Do you have any last words? 
Not yet. Son of a... Somebody turn on the damn lights! It's sickle! Lockdown! I want this place sealed solid! I gotta get to that drainage pipe in the showers before this map will do me any good. Just follow the dotted line on the map. It should lead me right out of here. You're a dead man, Slade! Hey! I gotta get that door open before the guards make it down here. Tattoo. Didn't think he'd get this far without his picture book to follow. A guy like him's better left in a cage with the rest of the animals. Think you still got another 20 years to go, short stack? Screw you! He's over Just here! Uh, oh, He's oh, Wallet says his name was Marvin Silt. Looked like a typical low-rent thug. I don't know why he wanted me for a hood ornament, but I didn't have time to worry about that now. I needed a place to hide, and I knew just the perfect spot. They say every criminal returns to the scene of the crime, but very rarely do the good guys. By now, Hennessy would have my apartment under watch 24-7, but I was willing to bet that that crime scene was still open thanks to the usual assortment of bureaucratic snafus. I'd hole up in Blatch's apartment, let things cool down for a bit while I planned my next move. I wasn't gonna get very far dressed like an escaped prisoner, so I figured I'd borrow some of Augie's clothes. He wouldn't be needing them anymore now that he's six feet under. I had plenty of work ahead of me. Solve my father's murder and find the guy who set me up. And to do that, I was gonna need guns and information, more or less in that order. And there's one place where both exist in profusion, Chinatown. Fat Chow was always good for getting hardware, though he mostly provided for the triads and Yakuza, exactly the guys you don't wanna have it. But right now, I didn't care, so long as he could hook me up with something powerful. Wherever you find Fat Chow, trouble's never too far behind. He's one of those wannabe triads, but he's as slimy as they come. Frankly, I don't even think he's Asian. And what do we have here? A little payoff? Jack Slade! Shoot him! <laughs> Sleep. Put the gun down now. Come on. He walked in like he owned the place, which suggested he probably did. Eight bucks that I'd find ballistic merchandise inside.
Well, well, well. What sort of illegal gambling den do we have here? You know a guy named Silk? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, he hang out at Black Orchid a lot. I, I, what do you want? Why you do this to me? Hey, I just wanted to buy a gun. But I got plenty now, thanks. You call the cops? You crazy? I just call for backup. Cops show up on their own. It's time to get out. I don't want to start shooting cops. He's just doing his job. Freeze, Slate! Drop it! Call for backup! <laughs> Looks like Chow Over called here. for backup. Look, dead man, Slate! Where to? Black Orchid. So this guy Silt practically lived at this massage parlor. Time to find out why he tried to run me down. Welcome. Please, may I take your coat? I'll hang on to it, thanks. I'm looking for Marvin Silt. I hear he comes here a lot. Yes, please. This way. Hey, hand over the iron. I'm gonna want this back. Something smelled fishy, and it wasn't the sushi bar. They escorted me to a room and told me to sit tight. But I didn't have time for that. I had to find Silt. This way. These goons aren't gonna make finding Silt any easier. Kill him! Come on! Kill him! Hey, horse! Him. I'd like my iron back He's if you haven't here. already sold He's it. over here! All right, Sil. Where are you? Oh, okay, okay. What do you want? You want money? Is that it? I want to know who hired you to run me down outside the prison. What, that? That wasn't nothing personal, man. I was told that if anyone other than Tattoo popped out of that pipe, to give him the run over. You was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, mate! Well, seeing as how I got your car, your phone, and your wallet, I'd say I was at the right place at the right time. Who gave you those instructions? A guy named Gopher. Said he was working for some... Jack Slade, I presume. You can relax. I was only after Silt. Yeah, well, so was I, but I wasn't done with him yet. Sorry, had to be done. You want to point that somewhere else? You want to tell me why you killed Silt? Just settling a score. Somebody from Mayhem Inc. killed my brother, and I aim to put things right. Mayhem Inc.? What, that Assassin's Guild out of Broadway? That's the one. Figure if I kill them all, I'll eventually get the guy who snuffed my brother through a process of elimination. What about you? What's your beef with Baldy here? I'm trying to find a hit or two. You know of a guy about this tall, one eye, dresses kind of frilly, carries a gold luger? Gold luger? Sounds like Patch, one of the Mayhem bosses. Thinks he's some kind of designer killer or performance artist. Real expensive and real hard to find. Yo, uh, what say we find someplace quieter? Check my only lead, I gotta keep her alive. Heads up, Jack. More thugs just pulled into the parking lot. Come on, tough guy. Well, that's pretty unorthodox for a hostess, don't you think? What are you waiting for? Get them off me! Yes! 
Smoking, baby. The hit girl needs my help. Yes, smoking, baby. The place was surrounded by triad goons, courtesy of Fat Chow and his friends. He sure liked to carry a grudge, but they say an elephant never forgets. See you in hell! All right, once we make it out of here, hang a right and head down the street. I'll cover your back. Who means Fat Chow? What are you waiting for? Nice Get outfit, them off me. Chow. But I'd go with the Think double fast, X Jack. next time. Well done. See you in hell! That was fun. Why don't you give me a call sometime? Maybe we can do it again. You mean like a date? Hey, if shooting bad guys is your idea of a date, then yeah, like a date. <laughs> Eve Adams? That can't be your real name. And just like that, she was gone. Not the first time a woman like that has sparked my interest and run out on me, but I couldn't let myself get distracted. I had a grave to visit. My father's. It's all right, boy. I don't know where this track has taken us, but once we see it through, we're out of here. This place is sucking the life out of me. Whoa, Jack! It's just me. What are you doing here? Same as you. My Frank may have left me unemployed and buried in bills, but he was still a good man. Thanks, and sorry about all that trouble back at the club. Yeah, you should be. I got fired. Serious? Sorry about that, but you know, you're better than that place. Hey, the money was good. A lot better than what I'm making now, waiting tables down at the ore house. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a waitress. Listen, I gotta ask. Do you have any idea what Dad was working on when he died? <sighs> Muck diving for Gloria Exner, mostly. She wanted him to scrounge up some dirt on the mayor to help her win the election. She's got a mad on against his stormtrooper police squad. You mean Gak? Yeah. And she thought maybe Frank could prove that the funds were being misappropriated and misused. Well, were they? Beats me. Just get out of here! I'll be having nightmares about this for months. I know this cemetery. I buried more than one friend here. The only way out is the way I came in, but it seems these clowns know it too. There's the main gate. If I can make it, I'm home free. Was gonna ambush me tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. Most of Mayhem Inc.'s muscle is holed up preparing for the debate tomorrow. If somebody was trying to kill you tonight, it probably wasn't them. Then who would... 
Hold on. Wait, what are they planning to do at the debate? Someone posted an open hit on some feminist running for mayor. Gloria Exner? Mm, that sounds about right. I try to avoid politics. Big waste of time. But I'll tell you, every freelancer with a pea shooter will be there trying to collect. Should make my job a little easier. All right. I'll meet you there. What for? I'm telling you, the competition's pretty stiff. I need Exner alive. Behind these stadium walls, two of Grant City's bitterest political rivals square off in the last scheduled debate of this mayoral election. Incumbent William Pinnacle will likely find himself taking a defensive stance against his opponent, Gloria Exner, who has been quite outspoken with accusations of misappropriated funds and what she calls Nazi-style tactics, employed by the city's anti-crime unit, widely known as GAC. But despite these accusations, Mayor Pinnacle still leads in the polls, due in large part to his urban renewal program. The construction of a citywide subway system promises to revitalize industry and draw a wealth of outside businesses to the area. Whether or not that's enough to distract attention away from his decision to close the Iron Point Penitentiary after the recent riot and breakout is anyone's... Hey! What the hell? Hey! Hey! I'm on the friggin' air here! Come on! Oh, Hi, Jack! Where are you? News chopper. Right across from you. My sexy eye in the sky. Nobody's sighting you. Move! Move! Get him off me! Freeze! Hey, whoa, whoa! Don't shoot! This thing will go off! Eve! What's going on? Hang on a sec, Jack. Just found some guy planting a bomb. Ask him how many there are! How many? Uh, they just told me to put one in each of the bathrooms. I... Another name off my list. Oh man, I can't believe you just did that! Okay, Hudson. Walk me through this. Alright, look. You gotta slide the detonator pin off the platen cylinder. Roll it around if you gotta, but don't let it touch the sides of the channel. Or what? Or you'll be trickling out of the sky over about four city blocks. Oh, nice. Behind you! No! Pilot, swing around to the parking lot! Now! You, you got it, pal. Take it easy. Follow that limo! It wasn't supposed to end this way. It was supposed to end with a brutal interrogation and him spilling the beans about who killed my father and hired him to set me up. But he took those answers to hell with him. I was down to one last lead, Gloria Exner. She'd probably never know that I saved her life that night, but she might want to talk to the son of her dead private eye. Suspects were seen fleeing the stadium in a number of directions, dragging police units into several high-speed chases throughout the city. I wasn't the only one interested in Exner. The bomb squad was on the scene unloading what looked like heavy-duty equipment. Thing is, they weren't carrying anything out. Growing concern that the candidates might face further terrorist threat have prompted Chief Inspector Dick Hennessy of the Grand City Anti-Crime Unit to keep all forces on alert. You hear that, fellas? Wouldn't want anything bad to happen to Miss Exner now. <laughs> if Mayhem Inc. had planted bombs inside, Hennessy's guys didn't look too anxious to take them out. But maybe that's what Hennessy wanted, an excuse to see Exner incinerated before she had a chance to clean up his gag squad. 
Terrorists or no terrorists, I had to find those bombs and get to Exner first. Building prints. These might come in handy. I wonder why they're just lying around, though. All right, Shadow. Time to earn your stripes. Sniff out those bombs for me. Atta boy. Let me at this thing. Should have gone out by now. We're going in! All right, boys. You've been brief. There are known terrorists in the building. And they are prepared to take decisive action against us. You know your orders. Whoa, sounds like demolitions. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish, but I doubt they mean to leave this place standing. Jack Slate. <laughs> you know this place better than I do. You lead the way and I'll keep you covered. You saved my life. I thought I was gonna die. I got your number, man. Let's do this. You gotta be kidding me. Gloria, I need you to stay out of sight while I take care of this guy. I don't believe it. Don't you boys know it's not safe to play with matches? Any suggestions? Oh. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Bravery runs in your family. Yeah, about that. Look, he died investigating your case. What exactly did you send him after? I heard a rumor that there were some budgetary issues with the subway construction. I thought maybe Frank could find out for sure. And did he? I don't know. He never made it to our meeting. I'm afraid, Jack. People want me dead and I don't know why. Please, stay with me. Look, you need a safe place to hide out until this is all over. You got a car? Y yeah Head out to Cold Rock Creek. My dad's cabin is at the end of Mayflower Lane. Stay there until you hear from me. And, uh, since you're headed in that direction, you think you can give me a lift to the pier? The page was from Gopher, the guy who hired Silt to drive Getaway after the prison break. Apparently, he also brokered jobs for Patch. Chances were good he might know who hired Patch to kill Blatz and set me up. You Gopher? Yeah, who the hell are you? Where's Patch? Busy getting embalmed. Oh, bloody hell! Interrupting dinner? Hey. Ah. 
Ah, I'm all right. Ah, I just gotta get to that diner. Ah. Oh my God. No. I'll call an ambulance. No cops. No ambulance. Don't thank me till you get my bill. I uh, don't. Ah, shh. Stay put. Uh, I'll take care of whoever it is. Well, if it ain't the heavyweight champ turned rent a cop, Rap Shoom Diggs. I'd offer you a donut, but we're closed. Well, that's real nice, Hildy. You fake that joke up yourself? <laughs> it's a real cracker. Look here. You hear any gunshots about? Gunshots? No. It's been pretty quiet all night. I've been a lot of dead blokes on the dock for a quiet night. You would be pulling one over us, how were you? Like I could get anything past a hot guy like you. What are you looking for, Diggs? Something I can get for you? The hoop wants to have a chat. Like he chatted with Dominique when she got fired? I don't think so. I wasn't asking. I was telling. And I was refusing. What is this? This. Is what you call bloody trouble, love. You don't know the half of it. Oi! Look at this, fellas! Our bleeding hero. Oof. Oof. Uh. Uh. Pick him up and let's be off then. I woke up rested, despite some freaky dreams involving Rafshoon and Diggs and four feet of rusty barbed wire. What was he doing at the R house? And what did Fahook want to talk to Hildy about? Pinnacle Security was the mayor's private army of bodyguards. Why were they working for a sleaze like Fahook? It seemed the mayor was in bed with a bad element. And so was Hildy. Wake up, Mr. Slate. Nap time is over. Fahook Abdul was supposedly the prince of some oily country on the other side of the globe. Rumor had it he was involved in nearly every kind of crime that went down in Grant City. Robbery, kidnapping, vice, you name it. But he kept himself private, mostly, granting the occasional exclusive appearance only to those he felt were worthy. I said wake up! Ah! I guess I should feel honored. You are the subject of many troubled discussions these days, Mr. Slate. Where's Hildy? She's being put to good use. Yeah? How is the white slavery trade these days? Many great powers wish desperately to see you silenced, you know. Do you have any idea why? I give up. Why? You mean to suggest that through all of your snooping and violence, you still don't know what is happening here? I find that hard to believe. Hey, look. You think I'd be here if I had any answers? A man seeking vengeance rarely carries with him logic. I will return in a number of hours. Please, do not die before we have a chance to speak again. Oh yeah? Killing off a of hook's goons made me real thirsty. Just fill this thing with beer, we'd be in business. Report immediately. For hook requests your presence. Leave him. This will not take long. <laughs> Over here, Shadow. Finally. 
What'd you do, boy? Stop at every hydrant? Shadow, hit the release and get me down from here. Hildy! It's Slate! Get him! Oh, crap. Build its contents like a biblical revelation. This was all about gold, money, the root of all evil. Don't know where Fahook got that sort of treasure, but hopefully there'd be more answers wherever this truck was headed. I was heading into the belly of the beast and was gonna come out either with some answers or dead. From the outside, it looked like an old factory eking out its last days before it crumbled into a pile of rust. But on the inside, the place was pure gold. Literally. From what I saw, I began to understand what was going on. About a hundred years ago, officials said the gold was all gone from what was then called Glitter City, so they renamed it Grant City. But that wasn't exactly the truth. There was plenty more gold, they just didn't have any way of getting to it back then. So they sat on the secret and let it turn into legend. But it seems William Pinnacle had figured out how to wrap his mitts around that legend and call it his own. Oh, no freaking way! It's slight. Well, if it ain't the biggest rat in the rat Shut hole. Shut whack you in the joint, Slate! Figures they'd use prison labor. Who'd better to authorize this shady sort of extracurricular activity than the mayor himself? Pinnacle certainly had some things to answer for, and the list was growing longer. Suddenly everything made sense. As mayor of Grant City, Pinnacle trumped up a bogus subway plan and rerouted the diggers into the heart of the mother load. It was a pretty brilliant plot, Steal billions of dollars of gold right out from under the citizens of Grant City while having the chumps pay for the endeavor. That's what Dad discovered, and that's why they killed him. I knew there was corruption in City Hall, but I didn't think it went as far as murder. The mayor had some serious sins to confess, and I was gonna see him stand in judgment, even if it meant sending him to hell myself. I followed the mayor from his downtown office to the Iron Point Penitentiary. The prison was facing federal investigation after my now legendary escape and the riots that followed. All of the inmates may have been transferred to other prisons, but Pinnacle still had them working his minds. The $20,000 question, however, why the personal visit? I'd be sure to ask him before feeding him his own teeth. Okay, Pinnacle, you rat bastard son of a bitch. Which rock are you hiding under? Hey, you see the boss around? Pinnacle? He was checking out the gas chamber last I saw. Make sure it didn't suffer any leaks in the riot. Yo, what rat head load of craps like? You just can't stay down, can you? Was hoping to speak with the mayor. He around? Well, he's busy seeing this place is made tidy before the feds decide to poke their noses around. You know, wall off them tunnels you stumbled through on your way out. Where's Hildy? If 
for Hook Juicer up and ship her off to Babylon? What? That skinny one-time looker? Trust me, Giza. She's happy now. The last thing she wants is some washed-out fugitive bomb holding a skirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm washed out? Man, what happened to your boxing career? You couldn't even cheat smart. That's just wrong, Giza. Take it back, or I'll tear your bloody crust off. Haha. <laughs> like you could. You just ordered the chef's special, mate. Not bad, Giza. Think you can do it out in your breath? Yeah, you see? There you go. That's how you cheat like a pro. Dumb son of a bitch. Not bad, Jeff. I'm impressed. Perhaps I should have hired you to head this operation. Why not? I already know where all your tunnels lead. Maybe I can give the feds a guided tour when they get here. Hell, I'll even show them where I buried your body. Relax, Junior. I didn't kill your father. If you haven't figured that out by now, you aren't half the detective I took you for. He found out about your gold mining scheme. He was carving your logo in the cement when he bled to death. That's true. But again, I didn't kill your father. Nor did I order his death. I may be involved in some, uh, questionable activities, but not murder. Yeah, well, who did then? There are pernicious forces in this city. Forces who have gathered evidence that could destroy some of its most prominent citizens, such as myself. You're not answering the question. Who was the first cop to show up when you called in your father's death? Hennessy. A little off his beat, isn't it? What are you telling me that Hennessy killed my dad? Come on. You've underestimated him far too long. He's blackmailing half the city. He's not only got the ability to put me in a federal penitentiary, but every criminal on this side of the river. He's even got the power to frame good cops like you and your father. My... my dad. Surely you knew Hennessy wasn't on the up and up. I, I knew he was an asshole, but, but why kill my father? He was already kicked off the force. He found out about my golden account with Fahook. The same one Hennessy liked to dip into every now and then. The greedy little bastard was just looking out for his money tree and had no compunctions against hiring Mayhem Inc. to ensure its safety. Sending me after Blatz. He knew. As distasteful as it might seem to you, I would like to propose an alliance. Together, we eliminate Hennessy and his files, and in return, you will have avenged your father's murder, and I'll see to it that you're pardoned. Pinnacle's story about Hennessy filled in too many blanks. When my father learned the truth, he had to be killed. That left me as the odd man out. Hennessy could stop the other cops from investigating the murder properly, but when I showed up at the crime scene, it threw his plans out of whack. So he set me up. So where are these files located exactly? Pinnacle's plan was simple. He would call Hennessy and tell him I was chasing him around the prison or something. Hennessy would jump like a racehorse at the prospect of shutting me up for good. Look out! He's over here! I need backup! He's going for the radio. I gotta stop that guy before he gets Hennessy on the horn. Hennessy, come in! Come in! Hey, Dick, you copy? It's stupid. What's the damn frequency? The Locked. damn stupid... What's the damn frequency? Sorry, right, pal. Can't let you make that call You're just here. yet. You're a dead man, Slate. I gotta find Hennessy's stash before his crew gets back here. He's mine. This was it. 
This is where Hennessy kept his treasure cleverly disguised as criminal evidence. You know civilization is collapsing when there's nobody policing the police. This city is rotting from the inside out. I'd seen those masks before, in the cemetery and at the pier. Now I knew how I'd been blasting, Gak boys in disguise. Hennessy had been trying to kill me since I escaped the chair. This looked like what I came for, and more. I'm sure if I stuck around long enough, I'd find all sorts of bad voodoo that could take Hennessy to his grave. But this would be plenty, and it wouldn't be much longer before Hennessy's posse realized I wasn't at the prison anymore. Taking Hennessy down was certainly a priority, but I couldn't help but feel wrong about giving Pinnacle a clean record to work off of. Maybe I could kill two birds with one stone. Gloria, it's Jack. I think I've got something you'd be very interested in seeing. Jack, I, I hadn't heard from you and started to worry. I'm fine. Here, this is all the dirt you need to see Pinnacle get beaten down. First in the election, then maybe in a prison yard if we're lucky. You know, when I hired your father to dig that up, I, I had no idea how serious things were going to get. Yeah, we'll take this to the press or whatever, but don't take it to the police. They're in on it. I know. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What are you doing? Pinnacle said he'd kill me if I didn't cooperate. I'm sorry, Jack, but I'm pulling out of the election. But you got him by the balls. The information in that bundle will could... get me killed. I don't know how you can live day to day in the face of fear, but I don't have your kind of stamina. I thought by surrounding myself in a public office with people fighting by my side, I could battle the corruption, but not alone. Gloria. Vote for her anyway, huh? Hildy, what are you? Where were you? Are you okay? Are you kidding? I'm, I'm fine. I'm set. Finally. What are you? The hook said this stuff was worth a lot. Promised me a small fortune if I got it for him. And God knows I got bills. Sorry, Jack. Just let me do this. But what about? I, I thought when this was over we could. There is no we, Jack. Your father was killed. I felt bad for you. You were hurt. I helped you out. I'm flattered you thought about me that way, but, well, you shouldn't. You're saying you'd shoot me? <sighs> Let's not find out. Look, I've been struggling my entire life. I can't even hang on to a lousy job for more than a couple of weeks. You actually think I could live on a cop's salary, sitting by the phone every night, waiting for that call from the captain telling me I'm on my own again? Please. Just stay out of this, Jack, for your own sake. She didn't look the same. I don't know what Fahook did to her, but she wasn't the girl I always admired from afar anymore. I guess it took her pointing a gun at me to notice that part of her I subconsciously ignored. I guess the Hildy I knew never existed. She was just a character played by a desperate actress, and I wasn't buying it. The chances were, she was headed for her final curtain. I followed her all the way out to Warden Air Force Base, one of those places that had been shut down by Congress and left moldering in the fog. It looked like Fahook was getting out of the country for a while until things cooled down. I doubt Hildy had any idea what she was getting herself involved in. She was in way over her head this time, and despite everything, I couldn't just let her walk in there like a lamb to slaughter. Should let her in and lock the door behind her. Hey, she was hot. Tell me about it. You should see her on stage. I got a bad feeling about this. I gotta get to Hildy fast. So this is what everyone was after. 
this bundle of dirty secrets. Is that my payment? I sort of expected cash. Unfortunately, my cash assets have been redirected to my homeland. But they should more than suffice. Uh, yeah, except I can't really pay rent with a bar of gold. True, true. <laughs> then uh, perhaps I should just keep it. Time. I gotta hurry.
Carrying a pretty heavy load here. Gotta get this plane on the ground somehow. Take him down! Jack Slate, come, are you a coward? Fight me! Fahook shot the pilots and took off for the cargo deck. He's probably gonna jump out the hatch and let this bird sink to the sea. Do you know where I'm leading you? Give me those files, Fahook! Please, Jack Slade! I wish to be challenged! That. You must try harder. What's he drinking? I could have used some of that a few hours ago. If a hook gets to the cargo hatch, he could parachute out of here. Here is to your death, Jack Slate. I gotta take out his magic potion. He fell like a silk-suited brick, and probably floated about as well, too. The problem now is finding someone to land the plane, or someone to show me how. Can you land this thing? Autopilot is locked. Gear isn't responding. You gotta override both switches before I can do anything. Where? Two switches. Front and rear avionics. Hurry up! That's the switch. Looks like Fahook booby trapped the autopilot. How sweet of him to leave something behind. This ought to buy us a few hundred more feet of altitude while I find the other switch. There's the other switch. Good God. Another freaking bomb? I wonder if a hook kept his jet booby trapped all the time or just on special occasions. Ah, oh, that did. She's responding. Now just hold on to something tight. Cause she's going down heavy! Kip Waterman, in hurry. Waterman, Jack Slate. Yeah, I know you're getting ready to go on the air. That's why I'm calling. 
Listen, a cargo jet full of extremely interesting cargo is about to hit the ground outside Warden Air Force Base. If I'm not burned alive in the crash, I might have the story of the century for you. What's your angle here, Slate? It better be good. Remember, I'm putting my ass on the line. Here. What's this? Your Pulitzer Prize. Only one catch. Yeah, what's that? I died in that crash. You got me? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, whatever. So, what's the story? You'll understand when you read what's in there. How soon can you get that on the air? <laughs> is, uh, 10 o'clock too soon? 10 o'clock is perfect. Now, you think you can drop us off at the Bay Bell? I got one last loose end to tie up. They say it's always darkest before the dawn. It was pitch black by the time I got back to the Bay Bell. I was battered and bruised, but I wasn't quite done yet. The city was now short one mayor, not to mention one mayoral candidate. Hildy was dead and so was Eve. Augie Blatz, Fahuk Abdul, my dad, everyone except the one man who really deserved to die. But I still had a few bullets left. These guys will keep coming until I bring down that attack chopper. Fire! It's armor plated. I'll need heavy artillery to bring that thing down. Don't have to yell, dick. I'm the only one here. I owe you one, Slate. Even I wouldn't have had the balls to kill the mayor. And with both the hook and Blatt's gone, this city is practically mine. And all that gold. <laughs> you have any idea how much power that can buy me? Yeah, it'll buy you one hell of a funeral. Cute. So where's that evidence you stole from my station? I gave it to a friend for safekeeping. You did what? Who? Now how safe would it be if I just told you? Information has surfaced that implicates key officials in both City Hall and the Grant City Police Department in what federal authorities are already categorizing as capital racketeering and organized criminal intent. What did you do? Central amongst those implicated is Lieutenant Dick Hennessy, head of Grant City's anti-crime squad, and the target of many who feel that his strong-arm tactics fell beyond the law. What? Did you do? This fountain can't be too good for that electrified riot shield. Just stand Get there! Get him! Kill him! Shot. Gonna give up like your old man? 
I hear he practically begged for his life. Go to hell. <laughs> sizzle it was over. The truth was in the air and the feds were on the case. Not that there was anyone left to implicate, but I'm sure they'd find their share of scapegoats. And I'd rather not stick around long enough to be one of them. With Hennessy, Blatz, and Fahook all dead, the inevitable struggle for power would begin. It would take an atom bomb to rid this city of crime. But I was fresh out of plutonium. I'd had enough. My own bundle of sins were enough to keep me awake for the rest of my life. But I had to believe that bringing the bad guys down would have some karmic benefit down the road somewhere. Somewhere other than here. I didn't mind, though. In fact, I was looking forward to leaving. They say Grant City's the hardest place on Earth. The people aren't born here. They're made. That fortunes are lost and found on a daily basis. And if you're not one of the lucky finders, you're probably dead. Well... I can tell you this for a fact. Jack Slade is about as far from dead as you can imagine. 